But if I've got to be trading my hours for dollars doing something for now to keep this YouTube channel going. When I landed here, you know, I did whatever I had to do to make this work. A lot of things have gone really, really bad. It's all still working out for the best. This one's for the ride. This one's for who knew I make it. Just needed some time. Good morning. Obviously not looking real pretty yet. Things still tend to get a little bit cluttered up because it's a little bit cool out at night. First thing is head out of camp in the National Forest and into town to grab a coffee. Show you a little bit of this uh, off-road terrain we're on. So right here, this is a usually, this is a big puddle as soon as it rains. And before we go any farther, let's check out the view. Quick stop for some herbal remedies. No cameras allowed. I'll be at the gym after a while, but I really like to kind of get my day started, get a little bit of work done, get some nutrition and energy in my body before I go and work out. Well, this is weird. Traffic's backed up. It's never actually backed up out here. It's one of the things I like about this place. So this has been my uh, favorite spot lately. South facing on the passenger side of the vehicle, which is perfect to plug in my solar panel without having to bring the battery out. Got a beautiful view out here. Got public restroom five or six hundred yards that way and during the weekdays this doesn't generally get too crazy busy next thing in the morning we're going to get the vehicle all cleaned up and organized for the day this is a daily task first thing of the day i spent a whole bunch of time making the interior a really nice little uh, space to live and work. Even did uh, upholstery on the bed to match everything else. So it's really kind of part of my workspace. It's important to get the sleeping bag out of the way and get the whole office space slash living room organized for the day. I really enjoy my space as long as I keep it clean and organized and I, I don't feel as productive and I don't enjoy my time and space in there if things are uh, messy. Just like the habits of getting up, brushing our teeth, going to the gym, taking showers clean and organize the vehicle every single day. Otherwise this life uh, could go from being really cool and fun to kind of a crappy, trashy little bum life. You can make any situation about as cool as you want to or as crappy as you want to, depending on how you handle it. Fresh clipped grass. Now we're getting back into the spring. Living in a vehicle through the cold, rainy winters, there's definitely moments where you're uh, ready for weather like this. You know, I think one of the most important things, if you want to actually create a cool life in this way is to be very strategic. I figure things out, you know, I see people doing this in their cars out here in some of the most ridiculous and uncomfortable ways and it's just because they don't seem to have any foresight. They're just barely getting by. Since I've been doing this for several years, I've kind of figured out some of the basics. Obviously power is an important thing. Wi-Fi for what I'm doing is extremely important. Being near running water but not having to carry around plumbing in a black water tank definitely a big part of it. There's just a lot of strategy. If you're wise, it's like a puzzle you're putting together. Now it's time to organize our workspace for the day. Non-alcoholic. Funny, I only drink one or two at a time now. Miscellaneous. I always keep a few paper towels around. Some Nicaragua, sparkling water. And I've got a little shop back. We're about due, but I've got a big list of footage I want to capture and things I want to get done so we're gonna kick that can for another day just give it a good hand sweep and get all the gravel out from last night's campsite and now before I get to work finally after coffee's done and everything's clean I'm gonna go brush my teeth real quick the workspace is clean and organized here got the laptop out got our table got everything looking feeling good so now I'm gonna crank out a live video real quick it's a super beautiful day out and I've been spending way too much time in the cold and wind and rain. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, kick the gym to the end of the day and keep on creating content for now. I do like to work out early usually, but I never miss my days when I say I'm going in. Oh, is my hair sticking out? After this, I think we'll probably head over to Avila Beach for a minute and capture some shots over there. Hey, doggy. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing is so I can find places to spend a large amount of my time outdoors. And down on the other beach, there's a Suburban right up there. Let's see if I can see it on my little screen here. 
just one of the many spots I uh, turn into my office. It's a lot more enjoyable and amazing when the weather is excellent, but every moment's a blessing, even through the challenges and discomforts. Now we're headed over to uh, Avila Beach, which is just like right next door, basically. I haven't really gotten to just get out and enjoy the beach like the, the tourists and the locals do, you know? I've been cold and working, so I'm just gonna get out and hang out on a nice little uh, active tourist beach here for a minute. This is feeling a little more like the uh, tourist town environment I'm used to with no parking now. It's either a paid parking or a long hike and honestly didn't have that on the real uh, planner agenda for the day. We'll save uh, Avila Beach for another time soon. Yeah, as you can probably tell the Suburban's getting pretty dirty staying up on that uh, dirt road. Oh, I'm sure that was a terrible job trying to uh, shoot the video and clean the vehicle off at the same time. Oh well, looks a lot better than it did. For those who are uh, new, following along on this uh, interesting journey, the story basically is, I'm from Wichita, Kansas, turned my uh, vehicle into a off-road capable tiny home, chose a date and a direction and said, I'm heading west by this date no matter what. I had about $700 to my name and hit the road, decided just to figure things out as I go. I landed in a completely different place than I thought. A lot of things have gone really, really bad, but it's all still working out for the best. Just to keep this journey going, I've got to have some sources of income, obviously. Right now I've got less than 3,000 followers on YouTube. So when I landed here, you know, I did whatever I had to do to make this work. Grabbed a job waiting tables at a family restaurant. While that served its purpose, I had to get out of there as soon as possible. Have a little bit more fun with the uh, way I'm making money. Now I am out here, this is Pismo Beach. This is the Pismo Beach Pier right behind me here. Up on the Pismo Beach Pier now. We're heading into the Sunsets restaurant over here made out of some Airstreams. This is what I'm doing for the summer. I'm gonna be the guy hanging out right here. Selling beers and sandwiches to uh, tourists, chilling on the side of the ocean out here. What's up? Good. Now, I probably would have made a little more money staying at the other place, but I wasn't enjoying myself there. If I've got to be trading my hours for dollars doing something for now to keep this YouTube channel going, this isn't too bad of a way to uh, spend 20 or 30 hours a week. And here on the other side of the pier where we started out, you can't really see on this lens, um, but you've been over there with me and I'll take you over there later. That's where you can drive out on the beach and head over to the sand dunes. I've never actually been all the way out to the end of the pier yet. I've always been over there working. You know, when the weather's nice, I'm working. When it's cold and windy, I'm closing up. It's beautiful over here. You got the grassy green mountains in the background. People surfing. I came out here really without anything other than uh, just a dream and a vision and a willingness to figure out how to make it all work. It's definitely easy to get wrapped up in the anxiety of just surviving. And, you know, I was getting wrapped up in that anxious feeling today. Like, I've got so much content to create, so many things to do. And, you know, that's when I kicked the gym to the end of the day and said, you know, hey, let's just catch our breath and enjoy this for a minute. I'm glad I can bring you guys along for it. It seems kind of ridiculous to get tied up in anxiety in a situation like this, especially anxiety over nothing. And it's just crazy, the life that we live, it it like keeps us in that state of anxiety. We take so many of the amazing things we have in our lives for granted. The people around us, the running water, uh, the electricity that works, uh, you know, when you hit the switch. There's definitely a lot of things I am uh, living without right now. and. There are times that it's plenty uncomfortable, but the feeling that I'm moving towards something of purpose is completely priceless. Like I've said before, motion creates clarity, and it's all still a little bit blurry, but a whole lot's happened in the last six and a half months. I'm a whole lot more healthy and uh, alcohol-free. I think I've gotten my mindset into a place that uh, will help me really approach the future years of life, the oncoming challenges, and all the exciting things that the future has to offer which is a good feeling. I know you can't actually see it through this lens, but it's kind of crazy looking over at the sand dunes and just seeing the color of sand in the air where you can see it being whipped up into sand clouds. It's pretty gnarly. Make sure you guys check out the uh, video of me taking the Suburban out there. Beautiful footage. 
a little bit of damage and a good story. So make sure you guys check that out on the adventure videos playlist. And there's work. So I just came down to the other end of town and the next plan for the day was to come out on the beach and give you guys a tour of the Suburban inside and out and tell you a little bit about it. But this uh, cloud just kind of rolled in here. It really uh, doesn't make the view that pretty. So heck, if we're gonna go through the effort to uh, make a cool video, might as well come in while the nice views are in the background. So I'm gonna head into town for a moment, uh, restock on protein, get some food in me, head to the gym, and maybe this uh, cloud will blow by while the sun's still up. Head into Walmart here, grab some, probably not the best protein, but it's gonna get me by for now. Picked up the supplements. This uh, elbow thing's a, it's a pretty big hindrance. As long as I keep my eye on the long-term goal of maintaining a life of fitness versus trying to work out real hard and get to this certain point by this time. I've been cycled off a of creatine for several months now. I'm gonna wait till my elbow's back to 100%. So I'm probably gonna leave you guys outside. It's Planet Fitness. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be creating content in there. My workouts are always at least a couple hours. That was about two and a half hours, including warm up and shower. And I'm gonna swing you back by the pier and show you the nighttime scene there before we head back to camp and do some editing. It's usually pretty busy right here. Uh, you know, it's a Wednesday, getting kind of late. Spring break's over. Not quite hot weather yet. Yeah, if it was a little bit earlier, we'd go uh, visit the uh, cigar bar that I hang out every once in a while now that I'm not drinking. I think they get closed down during the week around 8 or 9 o'clock. I think it's about time to call this a wrap and go grab some food and head back to camp. All I'd had to eat all day was just four protein shakes and a protein bar, so stopped by Chipotle, grabbed a chicken burrito bowl, that way I could get some unprocessed form of real something in my body for the day. I'm gonna swing by the grocery store, grab a couple more protein snacks for the night just to make sure we've got everything we need, maybe a little bit more water, and head back to camp. We got one camper at the entrance to my favorite area. And about a week ago, somebody just decided to park and camp right here, block the whole road. Just right and get level parked right there. It's been a long day but I'm really excited about editing this video, so I'm gonna get to work. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Thanks for sharing the day with me guys If you enjoyed this content Let me know by clicking the subscribe button I put it right here over my face Make sure you click that button Next, go to the adventure videos playlist right here This is what the whole channel is about We'll catch you next time, guys.